Hi, I'm Mark Sacco and I'm here with a Mitutoya Quick Vision Apex Pro machine and I'm going to show you how to enable stream mode on the Apex. What is stream? If you're not familiar, stream mode is a high speed measurement process where the camera does not stop between each measuring feature. It's an option available on all Quick Vision Apex and Hyper machines. So let's get into it. So the part that you see here is a stator from a motor and this is what I'm going to use as an example of stream. What I'm going to do is measure each of these prongs on the part. And as you can see, the camera is moving around taking measurements on each prong. And what I'm measuring here is the width of each prong, the radii at the base, and points along the tip. And this is what I would call not stream mode or traditional mode, where the camera is moving from prong to prong, stopping at each prong at each position that it's measuring, pausing slightly for some settle to get rid of vibration, and then taking the measurement. So now let me show you how to take this program that I just ran and convert it to stream mode. So as you see here, I have the program that I already wrote and just ran. And what I'll do is add stream to it. So right here is the loop that actually measures each prong. So I will put my IP in front of that node. And then I just have to come up to program and turn on QV stream right here. And that will put us into stream mode. So as you see here, Typically when you go into stream mode, especially with stage light, the light becomes darker. So all I have to do is bump it up to the correct light level, which that looks pretty good. So now I could edit my set lights right here, change that to match the correct light level that I just chose. Now all I have to do is get my loop that again, I already created and move that into my stream container. So I could right click on the loop, choose cut, or to ask me if I'm sure, and then right here, right at the end of QV Stream container, I could right click, I could choose paste, and this pastes my loop into the stream. So here I could right click, insert, and now I'm just going to run my entire stream, my entire prong measurement loop, except in stream mode. And here it is right here. So these are the exact same measurements that I took before, except now it's at stream speed. So that's an example of how to add stream mode to a program that already exists, where I already have measurements taken on the prongs. What I wanna show you next is how to add stream mode to a program from scratch where no measurements have been taken yet. So I still have my program up here. So what I'll do is I'm going to take the stream container that includes my loop with all of the prong measurements. I'm going to delete it out of the program. So that will be like we're starting with a fresh program. I still have my alignment up here. I'm going to keep that. I still have a couple nodes at the end that gets the camera back to the home position. So where I want to insert my stream is right here, right before these last two nodes. And you can see I just moved the IP there. So anything that I do now is going to be inserted into that node right before that node in my program. Now the steps are really, really similar to what I did before. I'm going to start by going into stream mode, just like I did before. So program, QB stream, and you can see it added my stream container here. Once again, the light's a little bit darker, so we will bump up the lighting. And again, I will make that change in my program here. So next thing is I'm going to measure each of these prongs, but that's going to be in a loop. So I want to create a new step and repeat loop going to be circular. So repeats, I have 45 prongs and it's eight degrees per prong. And I have to give a loop a name. So we'll be really original, call it loop. So finally, now that we have a stream container, now that we have a step and repeat loop, now I can take my actual measurements. What I will do is just create a point buffer where I measure points on the tip of each prong and that will be my loop moving all the way around this stator. So uh, point buffer, I already have my arc tool selected. So now I just have to place my arc tool on the screen. As you see here, so my points, I can click OK, and I could name my point buffer. And that's it. Now I could exit out of, of everything or finish everything. So I could close my step and repeat loop, so end loop. Uh, no, I don't want to run through every prong. I could just say virtually calculate the measurements on each prong. And then once that's done, I could come up to my stream mode and exit out of stream mode. 
And now my program is finished. All I have to do now is run it to test it. So I can come back up to my stream container. I can right click, I can say run selection and it will run the entire stream container. So first it has to move back to the previous context. I click okay there. And then just like before, it runs through and measures each prong in stream mode. The only thing that I didn't do is all of the other measurements that I did in the previous program. So that's how to enable stream mode. You can see how much faster it is than the traditional measurement mode. To see more how-to videos, and if you have any questions, go to mitstoy.com.